Ajinangu wananita Amani Bizimana Bahati. My name is Bizmana Amani Bahati. Mina toka mu inji ya Kongo. I come from Congo. Napatika napa Uganda nikiwa refugee. I'm in Uganda as a refugee. Mukampu ya Kamwenge Rwamwanja. Mkamwenge camp. Uyu amba munaona pembeni yangu. This lady next to me. Iko bibi yangu amba nilifanya na endoa mdani ya kanisa. Is my wife whom I'm legally married to. Kitu amba kina nilifikisha mdani ya kanisa hii. The reason why I'm here in church. Ni kwa jili ya kushukuru mungu makubwa na majama amba ya linitendea kitu chenye singe jiwezea. Because of the big miracle and the great things he has done for me. Nilikuwa naendesha piki piki. I was driving a motorcycle. Kwa hiyo gari kanigonga. Then I got an accident. Muguli likatika marapi. I got a fracture in my leg. Nenda jikuta ni kondani ya hospital. I found, my, I found myself in Mlago hospital. Wenye walinileta. The people who took me there. Walinitupililia. They left me there. Maumifu likuwa maumifu ya mingi zaidi. I had, I had too much pain. Nikakosa kama mie wabo ndakuwa wanani. I ask myself who will help me. Ni anja lilia mungu mungu ndapona na muna gani. I started crying to God asking my God how will I be. Kwa hiyo munga kasikia kilio yangu. God heard my cry. Wakati bibi yangu aliona mapato na kosekana ya kulipa madawa hata na machuma. When my wife saw that I had no money to pay medicine and buy the, me the metal plates. Alishikwa na uzuni akaenda nje. She went out. Kukakuwa mtu ambaye mwana anaingilia ndani ya chache ya Nabika Kande Samueli Ministries. Then there is someone who prays from here. Akakuta bibi yangu mahali ipo. Phone my wife na outside. Uzuni, na uzuni nyingi. With too much sorrow. Alimuuliza mwanamke unakufa nini mbona unaonekana kuwa na uzuni. Then that person asked my wife what's wrong with you lady. Alimueleza akamwambia she told the other person Niko na mugonjwa bwana angu aligongewa kai kwa hapa kukitanda tulisha kosa chochote ya she, kulipa madao I have my husband who is sick we have no money or medical treatment Kwa nilikuwa niliona bibi ndio huyo anakuja Then I saw my wife coming Na huyo mtu ambaye anasomea ndani ya kanisa hii With the person who prays from this church I niuliza He asked me Ulikufa nini what are you dying of? Nilimu, nikamujibu, nilikuwa naendesha pikipiki, gali kanigonga, mugui kakatika marapi. I answered him that I was riding a motorcycle, then I got an accident. Na ndiyo hivo, napatika ndani ya hospital hii, mina kosa mapato yoyote ya kulipa madawa na chuma. That's why I'm in hospital. I don't have any money to pay for my metal plates and for the medication. On the screens before you is medical report belong to our brother Bizimana Amani. Kuntimbe zamwe ye balwa ye dwale ya mganda wa Febizimana Amani. From Kampala Imaging Center. Okuwa Kampala Imaging Center. And it's an x-ray of the right femur and knee. Wano baku bechifana nyi eche gumba yechi sambi ne vivi. As the indication states, our brother went to this hospital with an open fracture of the knee and a closed fracture of the femur following a road traffic accident. So they examined him using x-rays. And in conclusion, they found that our brother had a displaced femoral fracture, mid-femoral fractures. And this is demonstrated on the x-ray images. This is the displaced femoral fracture that our brother had. In, in various views. Then he was also diagnosed with a commutated fracture of the left lateral condyle. And to demonstrate this, this is the fracture site. This is the part of the femur bone that is called the lateral condyle. And this is the fracture site. But our brother also was found to have patella fractures. And this is the patella. Which shows various fracture sites within it. In this patella bone. Plus, he also had soft tissue injuries. So, brethren, this was the state of our brother. I was in hospital with too much pain. 
Nilikuwa na uchungu nyingi kinze mumeona ile picha. And too much sorrow. Siukua hata mtu yoyote ya kunisaidia kwa ajili ya matunzo. I had no one to take care of me for my medical bill. Brother Bahati can't work without support of crutches. Baba ata salata mlanga tane mgonja wale ma. He fractured the right femur bone. Na menye kama gumba geta ambia chadio. And metal plates were inserted. Bam teka mwe viuma. Now the Lord Jesus is healing him. Taking away the pain. Enabling him to walk. Asa so kutambula. Thank you Jesus. Wema nenyo yes. Wakata ni maliza ni ombea. After you prayed for me. Beki mina enjoy na ishika mkono ni muangu. These crutches that I'm holding in my hands. Ni atembea mizuni na migu yangu. Now I can walk with my legs. Wengi waisha wakata migu. Other people's legs were cut off. Lakini mi mwenye wa nanja tembea. But now I can walk. Shangwe. Glory. Irudulie mungu. Glory be to God. Mutumishi ya mungu na biga kande. Prophet Samuel Kakande. Kuona na tembea kwa migu yangu. To see me walking on my legs. It's not by my liking, but for the love of God, and for the prayers of the man of God, the prayers that you prayed for me. Clap for Jesus, the healer and provider. Tukumila Yesu mungalo mwenye lo mungamirizi. Majinangu mapendo shantale. My name is mapendo shantale. Na kuja hapa kwa kushukuru Yesu Kristo wanabisa mweli kakande ministry. I've come here to thank God of the kakande ministries. Mina tokea kamwenge ruamwanja niko refugee kutoka Kongo. I come from kamwenge ruamwanja, I'm a refugee from Kongo. Bwana yangu alipato na accident, njoo muna muona. My husband here got an accident. Sasa hiyo yote mumu wangu ameeleza ni kweli tunashukuru Mungu. So what my husband has told you is all true and we thank God. Sasa mimi nashukuru Yesu Kristo wanabii Samuel Kakande. I thank Jesus Christ of Prophet Samuel Kakande. Come on.